Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to find styles that have more than two substyles, also known as multi-styles. So you may be familiar with part markers. So if you click this area here, this is substyle A, B, and click it again to then remove the part marker. So this particular style that I have loaded for my song only has two substyles available. And if I want more, uh, the easiest thing to do is to change to a different style that has more substyles available. So how do we find them in the style picker? Well, first click on this little magnifying glass to open the style picker. And here I already have some filters applied. You can see them in green. So I'll click the clear button here to remove those filters. And you may notice here is the titles of the different columns moving across. And I know this one is for substyles, but it's a little cut off. So you might want to click and drag the edge here. And uh, there's that substyles heading. So a simple thing to do is click on the heading and that reorganizes the list of styles by the number of substyles available. So if I scroll to the top, here you can see that the most substyles available for the top listing is 18 and then the number goes down from there. Another filter you could use is go up to category at the top, go down to more, and then multi styles. So that's another filter you could use. So, um, how about I choose this style and click OK to load it. And now if, let's say I click here on the part marker, it has one, two, three, four, four different substyles. Now, uh, you may not want to keep clicking through to cycle through the substyles. Perhaps you're writing a song and you already know that a, per, a particular section you want uh, the D substyle. So what you could do is right click the part marker and select whichever substyle option there is in the menu. So I could click on D and there's D. Uh, and so that way you can hear the difference. Let's um, instead make this D and C and D. You might not necessarily want a uh, substyle change so quickly, but I'm making it a short change just so that way we can play the song back and you can hear the difference. So since I changed a bunch of settings, the next thing to do is click the regenerate button up here. Or actually, I'm going to stop that for a sec. Uh, let's actually bring this back to uh, substyle A, and my key is also in F minor. That probably won't sound too great with um, orchestral strings and horns. Let's change it. Hmm. Let's transpose it to D major and see how that sounds.
Okay, so that was a bit of a uh, change. You could tell that in sub spells A and B, uh, that it was the um, the real tracks playing, and in sub spell C and D, there were MIDI tracks playing. Yeah, and uh, you can get an idea of that when you look in the menus as well, because you can see in A and B that uh, it's using the tracks from the underscore Symphon uh, style, but then C and D it's changing to that uh, MIDI style. So that was how to find and use uh, the multi styles in the style picker. We also have another video that goes into more detail about part markers. We'll leave a link for that video in the description. And if you find this helpful, please leave like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions.